Hi friends, it's Miss Erin here and I'm gonna read a quick story and then I thought it would be really fun if we made some butter. So have you guys ever made butter um, all on your own before? Well, we're gonna try it. I'll show you how to do it. But first I was gonna read the story called Brown Cow, Green Grass, Yellow Mellow Sun. And then after we'll make some butter together. Hope you guys are doing well. A yellow sun gleamed in the blue sky. The yellow mellow sunlight warmed the earth. The grass grew green and tall. Along walked a brown cow. Munch, munch, munch. The brown cow ate the green grass. Munch, munch, munch. The brown cow grew bigger and bigger. Along walked a boy. From that big brown cow, I will get white milk, he said. Splash, 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 splash. He's milking the cow. The boy gave the white milk to his granny. I will make something good, said Granny. She put the white, bright milk in a churn. Churn, churn, churn. She cranked the handle. Churn, churn, churn. Granny sang softly. From the yellow, mellow sun came the green, green grass. From the green, green grass came the big brown cow. From the big brown cow came the white, bright milk. From, from the white, bright milk came. Granny stopped singing and she opened up the churn and she scraped the bobbin with a long wooden spoon. Butter, yellow, mellow butter, said Granny. The end. And then the back of this book has a recipe for making butter. We don't have a churn at our house. I would guess that you probably don't have a churn either at your house. So I'm going to show you how to make butter. So what I did is I went and got some heavy whipping cream from the store. And then I got a jar with a lid and I put some salt in there. So I pour, I already kind of started shaking cause you have to shake it for a long time to get butter. Not a really long time, but you know, pretty long. So first I poured the cream into my jar and then I added some salt and then I put the lid on and I started shaking and I've been shaking it for a while. And then I check on it to see what's happening. So to give you an idea, whipping cream looks like this. I'm gonna pour a little bit out into my lid. See, it's just kind of like milk. Did you see that? But look what's in my jar after I've been shaking. Can you see? It's not like milk anymore. It's getting chunky. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna shake some more but I'm gonna tell you a trick. If you put a couple of marbles, you have two tiny marbles in your jar, it will help make it go a little bit faster. So you can hear the marbles in there a little bit and they're gonna help. So I'm shaking my jar up and down and you can even sing while you're shaking and go, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all around, shake it to the right, shake it to the left. Shake it up, shake it down, shake it all around. And I'm shaking, shaking, shaking. Oh, I'm leaking a little bit. Look at that, I'm making a mess. That's okay, I'm just gonna get my towel here. And I'm gonna wipe it off. I have a little towel where we can wipe it. There we go. And I'm gonna shake some more. I think it's leaking a little bit because I poured some milk into the lid. So you're gonna probably have to shake it for about 10 minutes. Maybe you could take turns. You can shake and then you can pass it to mom and she can shake 
and then you can pass it to dad and then he can shake a little bit. And if you have a brother or a sister or a grandma, maybe they can shake for a little bit. Can you hear the noise? Yeah, so there's something definitely going on in there. And I think we're getting close to having some butter. So I shook, shook, shook. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to check it. Hold on, I'm getting my towel. Okay, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to open it up. And it's going to probably leak a little bit. So you can see already, look at, does that starting to look like butter and less like milk? Yeah, so we want it to get a little bit harder. So I'm going to put the lid back on. And I'm kind of making a little bit of a mess, but in the end, we'll have delicious butter and it'll be totally worth it. So I'm shaking some more. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then when you're all done shaking, you'll know it's done when, um, still shaking. You'll know it's done when um, you have a big ball of hard butter and it will be surrounded by a little bit of, um, of the cream because it separates out and only the part that makes butter is gonna stay in there and then the, um, you'll dump the milk out and you'll have this delicious butter left. And then maybe you can make pancakes or muffins or you can just toast some bread and you can put your butter on it and see how it tastes. Or you can just do like what Miss Erin's gonna do because I love butter. So do you see, I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit. Do you see that in there? Do you see how there's solid and liquid? So the solid part is the butter. Okay, so that's the butter. I'm gonna put my finger in there. You could probably even right now, I could probably go put this on some bread and it would be delicious. Oh, it is delicious. It tastes just like butter. So anyway, so as I shake it, it'll become more and more solid and more and more like a butter. But at any time when I like, and I'm done shaking, I could take out the solid and let the, dump out the liquid and then I have butter. So that's how you make butter in a jar. Make sure you have a towel handy. I'm gonna show you one more time. See, we took that liquid that I showed you and we poured it in there and it's now a solid and it's butter and you can put it on your bread. Mmm, and <laughs> it tastes really good. Okay, so anyways, that's a really fun project to do at home where if you have a jar and some whipping cream and a little bit of salt and you don't even need to put marbles in it you can just shake it shake it shake it and shake it and make it into a shaking game all right guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope your butter tastes delicious okay see you guys soon bye